So check it out. In this video, I am going to show you how to adjust the inserts that come with the Capex. There's a little bit of adjustment in there. But also, I'm gonna show you how to install a zero clearance insert. So stay tuned. So before I get started, I just wanna show you what I do to set this up to make it really easy to access these screws. First of all, I'm going to take off the fences. Second, I'm going to take this knob and turn it to plus and minus 47. That way there, it relieves the pin that's back there. And I'm just gonna adjust it right here. Okay, now, there's six screws in here. And on the insert, the uh, hole is elongated, so you have some movement in and out. How much is the adjustment? Well, over the years, I've learned by trial and error. It's really simple. I'm just gonna take my CXS and I'm gonna loosen up these screws like this. And I'll, I'll show you a no-brainer and why I do it this way. Just let me loosen these up. It takes two seconds. All right, and you're gonna see how there's movement in and out. That's too much for me. So what I have found to optimize it is I just take a, a old hotel cad and I bring it in like this and I tighten the screws. And there's a reason I do this and I'll show you in a second. And I'll slowly take it down like this. Always remember, I always set the, my CXS at three, that way there I don't cam out the screws. Now there's a reason for this, okay? Um, and it's simple. When I'm cutting at 47 degrees, if I would have brought it all the way in, check this out. When I bring it down here, you're gonna notice, see that? If I would have pushed it, see the tooth, it's right there. I won't cut the insert. So that credit card is about right, okay? Okay, so I have the adjustments and I on the, on the inserts that from the factory, I use that, that CAD in there, all right? And you're gonna notice the gap is quite large, but let's bring the, let's bring the head down. And you're going to notice there's still a gap in there, but it's, you have clearance for 47 degrees. So, I'm going to just take this. Now, this is what I want to show you. There's a little bit of tear out here, okay? Yes, it's a wicked shot blade. I've, I've cleaned it, but there's some tear out. That is one of the reasons for a zero clearance insert. Because what we're gonna do is cut this insert so there's zero clearance on either side so there's less tendency to have a lot of splintering or tear out. One of the things I wanna show you is taking out the screws. I have a tendency to lose these. I just take them and get one of these magnetic trays. They're wicked easy to use and every everybody sells them and they're dirt cheap nowadays. So you just take that out like that. So I removed the factory inserts, but come in here, Cameron Man. I want you to see this. Because the gap on those inserts is a little bit wider, okay, for the clearance and everything, you're gonna notice that all the small pieces drop in there. That annoys some people because when you're chopping down, sometimes those get cut up and go flying in places. The other thing I want you to notice are these little O-rings in here, okay? They're a little bit spongy. So a good friend of mine gave me this insert. It's out of black walnut. It's made by Bare Knuckle Builds. It's a veteran-owned company. He even created the elongated slots in there. Okay, and he customized it for us. So thank you, Jordan. <laughs> we'll have the link so you guys can go get these. The one thing I wanna show you, and I want you to notice this. When you put it in and put pressure, you're gonna feel there's a little ledge. Don't shave it, don't send it through the planer, because once we lock this down, it pulls down to those little O-ring slash grommets on there. So we're gonna hook it up and put it in, and then we'll cut it. So one of the nice things, I'm gonna repeat it again, is make sure you take your saw all the way to 47. That way there you have access to the, these screws. I've seen people in the past put the right angle attachment on here. You don't have to. This goes down effortlessly. Uh, this is a really nice zero clearance insert. 
Jordan's done a see how that's sucking right down to there? Jordan's done a really nice job on these. So there you go, and it's perfectly flush. That way there, when you're moving your boards in and out, you don't have a catch. And just take your time, again. don't over torque it. Make sure your torque settings on about three. That's where I like to put it, so plenty of, plenty of room. For that. You don't, that's absolutely perfect, man. He did a spectacular job on these. And there we go. It's as simple as that. That's the install, it's perfectly flush with the turret right here. So when we're gonna cut it now, and it's really easy, I like to take the saw all the way out. And look how perfect that is. So, let's test it. So I'm gonna take that same board, I'm gonna bring it over, lock it down, and let's make the cut. Drum roll, please. Look at that. Not one single bit of tear out. I freaking love it. So there you go. Hey! Be positive and stay sharp.